Is the switch from smoking cigarettes to vaping really the healthy choice? A team of researchers has found unhealthy bacteria and inflammation in the gums of e-cigarette smokers that could lead to more severe gum diseases. Here is what you need to know. Research published in the journal Science Advances found that the gums of healthy individuals who used e-cigarettes contained damaging bacteria and showed signs of gum disease. The team of specialists studied the gums of 123 individuals. 25 of them were smokers, another 25 were non-smokers, 20 used e-cigarettes, 25 were former smokers who used e-cigarettes, and 28 were both cigarette and e-cigarette smokers. Results showed that e-cigarette use causes a change in the microbial landscape of the gums, making its healthy bacteria unrecognizable to our immune system. This then triggers an inflammatory response in the gums and coats healthy bacteria with a layer of slime. This phenomenon was observed even in those using non-nicotine e-cigarettes. This caused the team of researchers to believe that the liquid in electronic cigarettes could be triggering this phenomenon. So what does this mean? Well, switching from cigarettes to vaping doesn't necessarily create a healthier bacterial environment in your mouth. Instead, it switches your mouth's microbiome to one that fits the vaping profile. Lead author of the study, Purnima Kumar, told The Ohio State News, quote, Vaping is such a big assault on the oral environment, and the change happens dramatically and over a short period of time. Vaping has been under the spotlight for a while now for its damaging effects on the lungs. Here's what a 2019 research paper found on how it affects the lungs. New research has found that vapors from flavored e-cigarettes can be dangerous for the lungs. According to CBS, the liquid in e-cigarettes consists of a base made of propylene glycol and vegetable glycerin with flavor added. It isn't simply oil and water vapor as some believe, but an oil and petroleum solution. RNZ reports that a study from the University of Adelaide and Royal Adelaide Hospital examined three brands of apple-flavored vaping liquid with and without nicotine. Researchers found that the vapors were toxic to healthy bronchial epithelial cells that lined the airways and could trigger cell death. Extracts of the vapors were also found to interfere with the immune system by altering the function of cells that lock away dead and dying cells in the body called macrophages. The effects were present even when the vapor contained no nicotine. The team says the next stage of research will focus on isolating which particular chemicals may be causing harm. The new study comes as another vaping-related death was reported in the U.S. last week, bringing the total to eight. Probable cases of vaping-related lung disease, meanwhile, have risen to 530, according to the New York Times. Seven News reports that no single vaping product or ingredient has so far been linked to these illnesses, though most reported vaping THC, the psychoactive compound, in marijuana. Also, remember when people were getting lung injuries from vaping? Here is why and how this happened. A new study shows that vaping illness might be caused by a chemical additive found in THC cartridges. Medical researchers from Ireland linked vitamin E acetate to vaping illness. According to new research published in PANAS, the substance is commonly found in illegal THC-based vaping cartridges. The Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland's research team says in a news release that heating the normally harmless substance through vaping produces ketene, a highly toxic gas. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention sounded the alarm on vaping illness after detecting a rash of lung injury cases that appear to be related to e-cigarette use that began in August 2019. The researchers say ketene can cause severe lung damage up to 24 hours after exposure. Citing doctors at the Mayo Clinic, the New York Times reports the lung injuries of vaping illness patients resembled those of industrial accident-related chemical burns. According to a report in the New England Journal of Medicine, vitamin E acetate was in the lung liquid samples taken from 48 out of 51 cases of vaping illness, or close to 94%. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.